Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at vector products and the coordinate system. So we have the XYZ rectangular coordinate system, and along each of the axes we have what we call the unit vector. It's simply a vector in the direction of the three axes that are one unit long. And again, the unit doesn't matter what it is, could be a meter, could be a centimeter, could be an inch, that makes no difference. So here's the I unit vector along the x-axis, the J unit vector along the y-axis, and the K unit vector along the k-axis. So what happens when we do, when we operate vector products or cross products on these three unit vectors? The result is one of the other unit vectors or zero depending upon the situation. For example, let's say we do I cross J. So again, when we use our right hand rule, we point our fingers in the direction of the vector I, then we curl our fingers in the, towards the direction of vector J, and then our thumb points in the direction of the result. So it would be in the positive Z direction, therefore in the K direction, and of course unit-wise, length-wise, the solution is that the magnitude of any cross product is the magnitude of the two vectors times the sine of the angle between them. Now in the case of the coordinate system, all the angles are always 90 degrees, and so therefore the sine of 90 degrees is 1, so therefore the magnitude of the cross products or the vector products of these unit vectors is always going to be 1, the magnitude, in the direction we along one of the three components. Now, of course, we have the case where we, where we do a cross product of I cross I, that's the same vector pointing in the same direction, the angle between those two vectors is going to be zero, and the sine of zero, of course, is zero, so the result of that is going to be zero. All right, so we have I cross J will give us the vector K. Let's put that in here. Now, what about if we do J cross I? We already know that if we do the reverse cross product, we should get the negative answer. So using the right-hand rule, point your fingers in the direction of the J vector, curl your fingers in the direction of the I vector, and notice your thumb now points into the board. That's the negative Z direction. So therefore, we get minus K, and that will be in the opposite direction. Let's put that on the drawing here. So here would be the vector minus K. And that would be the result of doing the cross product or vector product J cross I. I keep saying cross and vector, it's really the same thing. We tend to think of the cross product in terms of mathematics. We like to use vector product terminology in engineering. All right, so now let's go ahead and work those nine out. I would not recommend that you memorize those, but it's a good thing to just go through them as an exercise. So anytime you do a vector product with itself, so to speak, a vector, a vector product with itself, the angle between them is zero, so therefore you always get zero. So I cross I is going to be zero, J cross J is going to be zero, and K cross K is going to be zero. So now we have J cross I, which we already did, right? So we go J cross I, thumb into the board, that's a minus K vector. And if we do K cross I, let's see what we get. So we point our fingers in the direction of K, then we curl our fingers in the direction of I, our thumb points upwards, so that's a positive J. So we have positive J as the result here. All right, how about I cross J? Well, we already did that here. I cross J is equal to K, right? So I cross J, thumb points out of the board, that would be positive K. We already did this. How about K cross J? Well, point your fingers in the direction of the K vector, then Point your fingers in the direction of the J vector, so we go, wow, that's kind of difficult to do. K is out of the board, J is up, notice my thumb points to the left, which is a negative X direction, so we get a negative I for that. All right, moving on, I cross K, so we do the I vector this way, K vector out of the board, it'll be a negative J because my thumb points downward, so negative J. J cross K, so we have J cross K, so we go up on the Y axis, out of the board on the, on the, K -ax, on the Z axis. My thumb points to the positive X direction, which is a positive I. All right, and that's how we find the result of the vector products of all the various combination of the three unit vectors along the X, Y, and Z axis. And again, I say don't memorize that. You should, of course, realize that if you have a vector product, a vector by itself, a vector product with itself, then you always get zero no matter what it is. A cross A, B cross B is always going to be zero. And then on the others, you either get a positive or negative unit vector, and that just depends upon which is the direction of the vector that you're working with. Again, don't try to memorize it. Simply have the ability to quickly figure out what it is by maybe drawing the coordinate system, looking at it, using a right-hand rule, 
and that's how you do that.